Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm back on YouTube. Uh, that's right, this is Sean. And uh, since Train Fest, I kind of got inspired to get back on and start doing some more videos and stuff. Um, I think I'm doing some pretty interesting stuff with modeling the Milwaukee Road in northern Wisconsin. Um, particularly around Channing, Ottenagan, Calumet, um, Escanaba, Iron Mountain, Iron River, um, and basically Milwaukee North. So here I've got my little ore train. Um, this is actually, believe it or not, a prototypical setup. The Milwaukee guys will probably know why. Um, it was real popular to run the F units and the GP9s together. Um, you had A units, B units, GP9s, and all kinds of crazy things just getting mixed together for power. Um, I, this is what I have that I'm going to run together as a semi-permanent lash-up. They're not draw barred, it's just what I intend to run together. Um, as for the equipment... The prototypical consist from what I've studied is three CNW cars to one Milwaukee Road and from what I understand these are appropriate on um, the three CNW Michigan cars to one Minnesota Milwaukee Road cars. Now one thing else that I'm doing um, is to try to get some more train for the buck is because I don't like doubling up numbers so I'm putting two data only cars in between a CNW and a Milwaukee. Now, it kind of bothers me a little bit because it doesn't look quite right, so I might go back. Um, I've only got two six-packs of the CNW cars, so I'll get four sets, which on a small layout is more than enough. Um, and then I'll mix the Milwaukee Road in with the rest of the hundred and some ore cars they have for the pool. But uh, just as a prototypical set, I think this looks pretty good. And I'm probably going to stick with it. And then I'll match the loads later on. Um... Just a second, we'll move over to the passenger stuff. So here we have the passenger uh, equipment that I have. They'll be operating um, basically north and northwest of Milwaukee, but still in Wisconsin and Michigan. Um, these are not the out-of-state trains, other than Michigan. Excuse me, these are strictly um, Chicago, well, Milwaukee, um, New Lisbon, and north. So we've got the uh, uh, Valley Train, um, the Northwoods Hiawatha, um, Copper Country Limited, and uh, a couple others in there. So obviously most of them would come out of Chicago as well, but for the modeling purposes, I'm basically sticking Milwaukee North. Um, so we'll start at the back here. we got the Chippewa. It's just four cars, um, real simple. Um, I wanted to keep it kind of short and give my big star trains the most cars. So it does have an open air observation on the end. Prototypical or not, I like it. And then over here we've just got another backup, um, kind of an overnight Chippewa. we got a sleeper on the end, four coaches and a baggage. Um, also the fisherman's special, so you got more people going up north for uh, fishing and stuff. So that'll fill the purposes for both. I might throw a spare baggage in the middle of it for that. Um, I do not have a ski special, but I'm kind of considering making one of the extra consists I have on uh, the ski special. So coming up next would be the uh, uh, another Northwoods Hiawatha. Um, or the earlier on. So before the 10 wheeler came along and before the RC2s, they did use an Atlantic. I've got photographic evidence um, with the caption at least saying that they ran the Atlantic before the 10 wheeler came along for streamlined service. And I saw a mixture of brown roof and gray roof cars. So because they don't have a combo car, I'm just putting the baggage on there. And because they don't have the tap car, I'm putting the cafe in there. And then of course, I've got two uh, bunk coaches. A sleeper and then just another uh, lounge at the end so I'm kind of fudging it kind of just making it look good um, these are mostly standing cars because they don't have the actual correct equipment but it's more than good enough for me and at the end of the day isn't that what counts so that'll actually run with my number three engine I picked up at train fest it's an Atlantic from the original Hiawathas and uh, it's got the herald on the side, it's got the gold lettering. Uh, the next one you'll see is just a standard Hiawatha um, between Milwaukee or Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul. This will run with number two. And then uh, 
this is actually most of the original set with some of the add-on cars so I've got one in four coming in the spring yet I'm really excited and looking forward to that next we have another later Northwoods Hiawatha here um, baggage and then four passenger cars with an RSC2. I do have a second RSC2. I don't know if I'm going to put it on there. They run at two different speeds, so the slower one, I just yank the worm gear and cut the uh, leads to the motor out and leave it at that. Um, but I think it's a good looking set. Moving on, I've got an extra batch of cars here. Um, kind of close to a Copper Country Limited. I'm just going to call it like the alternative with some extra express on there. But the one that's really modeling after the Copper Country Limited is right here. Uh, I've got a picture, I think it's 1964, and uh, I had one person recognize it, um, since he lived on the line, he actually recognized the train, it didn't have the flexivan or both RPOs, it had a baggage as a stand-in, um, but he did actually recognize the train as one that he remembers growing up by, uh, rushing by his place. So I've got the F7AB, uh, or FP7AB set, and then I've got... Uh, the flexi van. Well, this isn't the correct one that ran between Milwaukee and Green Bay for the Mail and Express service. They would have had doors on the side, but it is a good stand in in the meantime. I've got two RPO cars, which is correct. While they may not be the identical cars, they're RPOs nonetheless, and that's about as close as I'm going to get. I don't have a heavyweight sleeper per the picture that I'm kind of modeling this after, but I'm glad that Walters did do the uh, streamlined sleeper from Milwaukee Road, even though I believe it is an ex-Union Pacific car. I'm okay with that. I was able to pick up three more train fests, so I got two back there and one underneath yet. And then I've got a bunk coach and two other coaches. Whether or not the bunk coach is appropriate, I don't care. Um, but I've got a plethora of bunk coaches. I'm just trying to make them useful. And then I saw in the picture it was three coaches, a sleeper, uh, two RPOs, and uh since I found out that they did run flexi vans in between Green Bay and Milwaukee, that's what this train is representing. So it's a very nice train. Um, fits in one of my boxes, and I'm very happy with that. Um, I do have several more Hiawathas yet. I'm not going to break them all out at once. I'd like to be able to put them all in the yard at the club. Um, unfortunately, that's a lot of freight to move out of the two yards just to get them all sitting next to each other. But, um... That's it for now. I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'd be happy to go into more depth about the Copper Country Limited, um, about the pool arrangement, and about the different Hiawathas. If you guys want to see more pro prototypical consists in the future, please let me know. I'd be happy to do that. But I'm going to kind of pick one train at a time to model it down to a T. Um, possibly still with standing cars, um, like a different sleeper or whatever. Um, but everything I have that I'm running in these sets is you can buy off the shelf somewhere. The only cars you might not be able to is just because they're hard to find or I've got two open air cars that I run. Um, those you're going to have to make on your own. But Milwaukee Road did actually run some open air cars. That I can talk about later if you guys are interested. I've got pictures and an article from an old trains magazine. Um, and I do model the electrics but that will come later. I want to try to nail down some of these more localized trains to where I live. I live in Oak Creek right now. And uh, so I, I just kind of want to model some of the stuff that's closer to home for me before I get too crazy with the stuff out west. So until next time, take care everyone. Let me know what you think. And uh, feel free to comment, subscribe, like, and share. Take care.